Hi, I'm here with my dear, dear, dear friend, Miss Guy, who just performed his new single, Dumb Blonde. Hi, Guy, welcome. Hi, Sherry. How are you? Good, how are you? I'm good. good. So I want to start at the beginning. Now, I have seen the hieroglyphs of when you first started performing, but you were doing like a, a boy bar in different places, a little oh, bit more clips. like glam drag. Now, have you always been interested in like the rock and roll and that look? Or When I was doing the drag shows at Boy Bar, it had a rock edge to it and they tried to doll me up more kind of like old Hollywood glamour, like, you know, Betty Grable-ish, like, you know, I didn't feel comfortable in that at yeah. all. So um, once I, they let me do my own thing and I got to lip sync Cherry Bomb and wear tougher outfits, I felt comfortable and kind of, you know, came out as a performer. But I, I, I don't think that I... Um, changed much. I, I always liked rock and wanted to use it on stage. Uh, let's talk about Squeezebox. Now you were the one of the uh, people who started Squeezebox with Michael Schmidt for Micah and you were the resident DJ and I was there a lot. Yeah. Um, tell me some of your best memories of Squeezebox. I liked when you know favorite rock stars of mine would come. Uh, Boy George came quite a bit and seeing Goldie Hawn there, um, JFK Jr. I mean, that was, you know, those were always thrilling moments because right. you'd be like, what? You know what I mean? Like right. JFK Jr. We're having Jr. this conversation I love uh, that you could <clears throat> never recreate that now because everyone has a phone right. with a camera. So you couldn't have like Drew Barrymore dancing topless on the bar. Right. And, you oh, know. I always loved when she was there. Oh my God, she it was, was just so like, it was anything could happen. That's why it was so much fun yeah. to go there. <laughs> so um, we're also coming out of Squeezebox was the band that you guys started, Toilet Boys. And you toured all over the world. You opened for the Chili Peppers, for Blondie. Um, tell me a little bit about like how Toilet Boys happened and... Well, yeah, our, our, our very last tour was 10 years ago this month with the Red Hot Chili Peppers. Yeah, we just, you know, I, I wanted to start a band my whole life and, and it just, you know, never happened. I wasn't meeting the right people until Squeezebox came about and I obviously got connected with the right people and met people that thought similar, had similar ideas as, as me and we clicked. And um, it was a perfect place to, you know, showcase that and and grow as a band. So what's next? What are you working on next, or what do you want to be doing next? Uh, well, um, I've been making videos for each of the songs on the on the uh, EP, and yeah, and the Dumb Blonde video, by the way, you should go check it out because it's amazing. Thank you, Francis. Yeah. yeah, I love it. That was the first one, and. Um, you know, I, playing some shows, and I would love to go on tour again. Thank you guys so much for Thank being you, here. Thank you, for and having me. And this is Miss Guy, and you could get all his music on iTunes. Yes. Love you. Love See you, you more. for rice and beans. Yeah.